Hey everyone, Don here with Paleo Tracks. What I'm going to show you guys today uh, is how to do a uh, really cool primitive fire technique. It's the bow drill set. It's been done before. This isn't anything new. But I'm going to kind of uh, discuss a couple of the things that I always bring with me whenever I head out in the bush. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get it going from there. So stay tuned. Much to see. I know you'll enjoy. All right, everyone, so you just saw me um, do that bow drill set. Um, it's a great friction fire technique. It's a great primitive fire technique. It's been used for, you know, years and years and years, and it's kind of the go-to for most people. Um, one thing that I always travel with whenever I head out in the bush are these basic components right here. Some sort of uh, pre-stretched buckskin uh, reverse wrap that I can use for uh, lashing something together, as well as the main component, finding the proper bow drill size, spreading my reverse wrap at the top, looping it over one of the forks, splitting this back end right here, and dropping it right in. This allows me to control the, tr the, the tension, the pressure. I can, uh, as the, you know, the skin gets wet or it gets stretched out even more, I can you know, cinch it down into that little opening a little, bit, uh, a little bit tighter. I can squeeze this specifically right here, and it gives me the exact uh, tension that I need to wrap around my spindle. So, I don't carry the bow with me because I can typically find them, but I carry the leather and then I carry a spindle with me. Uh, this is about the length of my uh, thumb to my pinky. It's about the, the average size, um, you know, and no bigger than your, your index finger is kind of a good rule of thumb. Some people have them bigger and so on. It's really up to you uh, what works. Uh, my bearing block is a, uh, a little intersection of an antler just with a hole that's been uh, ground out in it and it sits on. This polishes really, really nicely and it almost it, there's almost no friction. So I carry this, I carry this, and then I carry some sort of uh, baseboard with me, or hearth board. Uh, this is Sotal. It's a great piece. Um, there's a lot of different woods you can use. Cottonwood's a great one. Um, good rule of thumb is the hearth board, you want to be uh, a softer wood. So the spindle, which is typically a harder wood or the same wood, can drill into it and create that uh, that dust, that hot ember, as it drills through. If it's if it's both the same wood, that's fine. If this is a soft wood and this is a hard wood, it's not really going to work. But you got to get out there, get in your local uh, your local wilderness, your local uh, parks, wherever the case may be, and find what woods are going to work best for you. So I travel with these. I travel with this right here, and I also travel uh, with this leather piece. Now you can kind of see the technique that I was doing is anytime that I am uh, doing my bow drill. I'm up, I hold the spindle um, firmly 
underneath my uh, or the hearth board underneath my toes and I put this spindle as you can kind of see down in and one thing I do is I don't try to let this wobble all that much I put my hand real close to my my leg and I push down on it and then I can work my bow back and forth I go full motion of the bow I don't do short little strokes full motion full motion full motion now what makes your bow best suited is one that's about armpit armpit to your to your hand length that's about the average length and then you need your cold catch you can use a knife a piece of leather a rock um, get something somewhat sturdy uh, you can use a leaf whatever the case may be but find something that you can catch that coal transfer in that bundle and then blow it into flames so whenever i'm out in the bush i carry one good hearth board one good spindle one leather thong one leather wrap and some sort of bearing block if i don't have the bearing block i can find any piece of wood put a hole in it make it comfortable and get right a rock and roll um, bow again fingertips to uh, armpit that's a good rule of thumb you gotta have a cold catch. Good form, good um, solid strokes back and forth, feeling the pressure. This right here is your pressure gauge. You're feeling, you're almost up and down saying, all right, that's too much, that's too little. And this is where you let off and you let on. And once you start to see that smoke, you find that same motion, you maintain it, applying slow downward pressure as it's increasing with the uh, volume of smoke. That's pretty much it. Um, I find the, uh, bow drill to be an excellent fire technique everyone should learn it um, that's pretty much it so hope you enjoyed uh, please like subscribe and share and uh, we'll see you around thanks